Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 22 and 23. John has sent his disciples to ask Jesus, are you the Messiah or are you not? So let's look. Jesus heals people, and then this is what we have. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them, and blessed is he who is not offended because of me. So again, we have this question, who's the true Messiah? Is it you, Jesus? And notice then the response of Jesus. He's laying out a list of these about six things here that he's done, that he's doing. And I think that this is where we come into problems. We have different expectations. When Jesus comes, what's he going to do? What did most of the Jews think? When Jesus comes, he's going to flatten those Romans. He's going to wipe out the Romans and we'll have a big party. But Jesus actually came to preach the gospel to the poor. He actually claimed to restore sight to the blind and so on. So Jesus is pointing to uh, their misconception. Jesus is pointing to the things that God would do. He would preach the gospel to the poor. The poor, remember, in Jewish society were kind of like, oh, well, you're poor because God's anger is upon you. You're poor, because, obviously, because you've sinned, you've gone against God, and and so, therefore, these afflictions are upon you. You know, shape up, and God will give you nice things. It was kind of the prosperity gospel line. Well, Jesus is showing us something different here. The poor have the gospel preached to them. Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. You know, a lot of times we have different ideas about what the Messiah will do, what God is like. But to find out what God is like, we need to go to his word. And then we'll find out actually what God is like, not just our expectations. So, let's have that in our mind as we pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are glad that you come and live out the true example, the true things before us, and we want, Lord, to be representatives of those true things. Cast out demons and work miracles and preach the gospel to the poor. And Lord, show us what part you have for us and let us be your servants in these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, well, friend, we need to go back again many times, back to the drawing board, because our picture of what God is like is different than what God is like. And in the Bible, we can find out actually what God's plan for us is. Be blessed on this day.